How's it going, guys? It's the Big Slay Pumpkin, and in today's video, we are at Michael's for the Halloween 2023 season, taking a look at all their new products. As you can see, they're all ready with the Halloween Boutique selection. Boutique, of course. And they have some signs hanging up, like this Bad and the Cat, and the Witch, and the Haunted House. So that is all really cool, but there's so much merchandise and products to get into here, including the Lee Max Spooky Town, which I'll be going into in detail, of course. And with all that, let's get started. So here we have a whole bunch of the tinsel decorations. I'm not the biggest fan of these, but Michael's always has a lot. Here are some of the cats. They sure have a lot of them. Black, purple, and orange. Probably the purple one's my favorite. We have some witch hats here. And just some general Halloween stuff. The spider there. Take a look at that guy. Here we have some pillows. Boo. The three pumpkins are really cool. I like the design on there. Another little ghost, another pumpkin. Just a lot of pillows. Over here, we got a whole bunch of tabletop decorations. So we got this blow mold ghost here. That's very classic. We got this little pop out from the tombstone ghost. There you go with that thing. I mean, I wish it was a jump scare, but uh, still pretty neat. We got this blow mold cat. There you go. Here we got a lot of lighting stuff now. There's some hanging lights and there's this little ghost right here. Let's turn him on. There you go. He changes a whole bunch of different colors. That is actually pretty cool. I know you can't see the effect that well in the light in the store, but I'm sure at night it looks awesome. <laughs> The projection face hanging lights, certainly weird, but you got the pumpkin. Certainly very strange, but I do like the faces and I do like how the mouths are animated. Now you have some more of your general hanging lights. I like these a lot. Very, very classic looking, especially that pumpkin right there. That is just like a classic blow mold straight out of the 90s right there. Really cool. The ghost is all right too, I guess. Here we have some lanterns. Not too bad. I like the eyeball a part of this set right there. That's cool. Now here we have the ornaments and decorations for Halloween trees. Now it's basically just a black Christmas tree with orange lights. But this is a concept I could really never get behind. I really don't understand the point of a Halloween tree. I mean, there are so many better Halloween decorations. And this doesn't even feel that creepy, honestly. It's just a tree with Halloween themed ornaments on it. On this side, we got a whole variety of lighting here. So we got the classic pumpkins. Whole little variety. The ghost, a cat, candy corn. Here's interesting. Look at these. A moth and a snake. Not seen those before. Some witch hats and tombstones. And it's back to the classics. Pretty cool. Some eyeballs and bats and spiders. Just the classic lights right there. Look at this big eyeball here. Let's turn that on in. It kind of lights up and it has a little effect in there. Not bad. It's pretty cool. Then in the back of the lighting section, we got a few things here. I guess this is some sort of garland lighting almost. Pretty strange, but it is pretty nice as well. I do like those orange lights. Here we have the Lee Max Spooky Town, and all the pieces appear to be here. None of them are on, unfortunately. But starting off, we have this little Day of the Dead little fashion show, and then a spooky bridge, 
which looks really nice actually. Then we have Wicked Wigs, which is also really cool. Gotta look at all the details in there. Look at that guy, really cool. Wicked Wigs is a Michaels exclusive piece. Then we have this one, which I like a lot, the Paula's Pumpkin Patch little pumpkin ride here. This one is awesome, especially when it's moving, it spins around. There you have Paula and the farmer. Here we have the Gothic Hills Funeral Parlor and the Creatures of the Night Pet Shop. Certainly two really cool pieces. Both of them are budget pieces, as you could see. They're not too expensive. So these are nice little pieces if you're just starting out of Village for sure. I definitely like the Funeral Parlor better. It has some really nice detail. Here's the little skeleton cottage, which is very small in person, unfortunately. We have the pumpkin cottage as well. And here we have Bigfoot's Brew House, which is honestly such a cool piece. I love cryptids, and it's really cool to see cryptids get implemented in a Lemax piece. You see on the side it says Ski the Himalayas, which is of course Bigfoot's origin, or the Yeti's origin. Really cool there. There's a lot of great details on this when you get the little hanging sign for Bigfoot Brew House. That is really, really cool. Here we have the Scarecrow Joe Shack right here, which is actually a really nice piece and is way bigger than I expected it to be in person, honestly. Now here we have the Wicked Garden Coven, and this one's really cool as well. I do like that little Scarecrow on there. And honestly, which pieces are never really my favorite, but this one is done surprisingly really well, and it does have some nice animation if it was actually on. Now here we have the Witch Cottage, which is just way too small to really fit in with other pieces. And here is the Mystery Meat Canning Company. Now, this one is very goofy looking, but I do like it a lot for sure. And I really wish this one was turned on because there's so much cool animation on it. And that big brain sticking out of the top is very cool as well. Look at all the detail here with all those classic monsters working at this little canning company. This is an awesome Grim Reaper carrying the horse along with the little prisoner in the back. That is certainly a really cool little accessory piece. Now here we have this fountain of green ooze and it looks so cool. It does have a really cool lighting effect. Again, unfortunately it wasn't on, but it even looks cool when it's not on. Now here we have a huge piece for this year. Probably one of the biggest Lemax pieces I've ever seen being the Dungeon of Terror. Now you really have to see this thing in person to just get a sense of how massive it is, but trust me, it's enormous. Here we have some dragons which are supposed to spin around, but unfortunately again, it's off. They still look really awesome though. Here we have some people running around the top there, and you got even the little guys in the cages here which are really, really cool. The detailing is phenomenal. Then you have these people on the boat ride pretty much. I'm pretty sure that's what this is supposed to be, like a theme park attraction, like a little haunted boat ride, which is really cool. There's even some detail inside. Then you got this sick phantom with the axe there. That is spectacular. And overall, this piece is phenomenal in person. It's really awesome. Now, if you're a fan of the channel, this one should be a familiar sight to you because this is one I actually did an unboxing on being Samantha's Supernatural Yard Decor. Now, this one is just phenomenal. I've already said everything I had to say about it in my video, so I recommend checking that out. But this one is brimming with classic Halloween goodness and nostalgia. I love all the wooden cutouts. Here we have the facade piece for this year, which is certainly cool. And here we have the House of the Shadows, such an awesome haunted house piece. Look at all the shadow people in the window. Here we have all the accessories now, like the little figures to fill out the village. And this gravedigger is really cool. I like how the hand is sticking out of his bag. Just overall, a great selection of little extra things for the village, which are all fairly relatively priced well. And this one is cool too, the little pumpkin stack. And this graveyard statue is also awesome as well. Look at the sword he's holding. Here's some lighting accessories now. And yes, those street lamps do light up, which is really cool. Here we have some trees. And this sign is awesome here too, which does also light up. And we have some actual trees. Really cool. Now moving on from the Lemax stuff, we have some of our general decorations like these hanging ghosts with the witch hats. The faces on those are actually really awesome. Now we have some signs here that are all a whole lot of little wooden signs. And they all have a very distinct color scheme this year. Here's this little haunted house right here, and obviously the Lemax stuff is a lot better for this miniature type stuff in my opinion, but you know, this thing is fine for what it is, very unique color scheme. Now these here are interesting, the little Halloween characters in the bathtub. The only place that those would make sense is in your bathroom. Anywhere else would just be weird, honestly. Here we have these bottles. 
Those plushes are all right. Some more pillows. Little tabletop signage decorations here. Not bad. Here we have this big eyeball, which does light up. That thing is actually pretty cool. Here we have this wreath, which of course is not traditional Halloween in the slightest, but it'll give you a sense for that color scheme they're going for with a lot of these products. Definitely a lot of bright neon almost colors, which is definitely what they're going for. I don't know, it's a bit of a nice change up from the traditional type stuff. This advent calendar of sorts, I guess, where you move it day by day is actually pretty cool. Magnetic, put that little pumpkin onto 31 for Halloween day, of course. Again, with the neon theming, this Happy Halloween sign definitely goes for a look like that. We're, like, really into Halloween. If you're watching this video when it's uploaded, I'm sure that sign definitely applies to you. Here we got some little plushes here. And a whole bunch of jack-o'-lanterns in a variety of colors. I really love these guys. Some more neon-themed wooden signs. Certainly a cool and unique color scheme going on here. These are some big skeletal hanging characters, and they're pretty cool, especially that jack-o'-lantern. Some more signage. Another little happy Halloween sign here. A spooky sign. Now this is one really cool skull. The neon effects they give it looks really cool. This happy Halloween jack-o'-lantern sign is pretty awesome. Again, the neon theming is on point here. This lighted cat sign is pretty cool. Some little foot dangler characters right there, not bad. These little characters are nice as well. Pretty cool decorations. Here we got this big Happy Halloween sign. That thing is gigantic. And we have a few lanterns with various things on them. Here we got this end cap here with a whole bunch of stuff like those ghosts, a few signs, even some nutcrackers. Down at the bottom, we got these candle holders. Pretty nice. And we got these cats, which are very interesting, of course. Another little cat sign here, like the jack-o'-lantern one from before. Again, with the nutcrackers, these are very interesting as well. Not what I expect to see. Then we got some hanging things here. Here we got a whole other section of the store now with a ton of more Halloween stuff that we'll be looking at. Starting off with these tombstones right up front. These are three packs of tombstones right here, so they include a lot for what you're paying for them. So that is pretty nice. They look really cool too. I mean, look at that one with the little metal parts on it. That is a really cool design tombstone. And we have some more Day of the Dead themed tombstones, I want to say almost. Now here we got the really big one right here, which is pretty cool. I like how that is designed, of course. This here is really awesome looking. That is really spooky as well. Very creepy looking. We have a lot of gothic themed stuff and fantasy themed stuff over here. It's mainly not really traditional Halloween decor that was really in the other section. This again is much more strange and fairy tale like than you would expect for Halloween, but it's nice and it's weird. Got some critters in cages here, very strange for sure. Lots of flower and butterfly and moth themed stuff over here. Very strange once again. That snake skull is pretty cool. And then we have a jackalope head inside a little jar here, which is pretty interesting. Here's this bat, very accurate looking to a real bat that's hanging upside down. That looks really, really awesome. We have some man eating plants over here, which I like as well. Very nicely detailed. Here are these potion bottles, those look cool. And this bat that's standing up on its legs, which is very, very rare for a bat to do in real life.
this bride just decapitated her husband. That is a pretty dark piece there. Obviously, that's not really what's supposed to be happening, but she is taking off his head, which I think is funny. Here we got Frankenstein's monster and Frankenstein's bride. They always have a lot of Frankenstein stuff at Michael's for some reason. I don't know if it's officially licensed or whatever. Or they're just basing the designs off the characters, but it's always cool to see. This one even lights up. Would you look at that? Very nicely detailed for sure. That is a pretty cool hand holding the heart there. I like that. And some x-ray stuff. And a real working hourglass. Look at this. I'll flip it over. And it will actually start pouring out. Which is not what I expected originally. But I guess it makes sense for it to be a real working one. There you go. You can see the sand pouring out there. Here we got this rock on skeleton hand. Yeah, that is awesome. And we have the black heart from Spirit Halloween. I was not expecting Michaels to be carrying that this year. Along with the gold heart variant. Very interesting. Here we have a whole bunch of animated doorbells. We'll start off with the top and work our way down. This crystal ball is pretty cool. Welcome, welcome. I hope you are not easily spooked. I have some surprises that await. Here we have a whole bunch of animated pieces, all boxed up, unfortunately. I would really like to see these all in person and lit up and stuff. But they're pretty cool, like this clock here that has the projection mouth that moves. That is really cool. And this mirror here is also pretty interesting. I would love to see what that did, but it is what it is. Here you have some more lights, these little tombstone lights here. Not bad at all, not bad. Here we have a whole bunch of plastic skeleton stuff. And for some reason, this is all sponsored, I guess, by the Haunted Mansion movie. Or there's a, at least an advertisement for it. But it's strange because they don't have any licensed products from the movie. Anyways, there's a whole bunch of little skeleton critters here, like this owl, which is pretty nice. You got a little bulldog here, which he looks pretty ferocious. And you just got a whole bunch of standard skulls down there, which aren't terrible. They're basic as it gets. Here we have some skeleton figurines, a whole bunch of skeleton clowns. Then you got some more fancy dressed skeletons. And even pirate skeletons. These eyeballs are pretty cool and very realistic, surprisingly. We got some more skeleton critters like this duck over here, which I have not seen once in my entire Halloween career, along with a pretty cool looking dragon and some very tiny cats. Very, very tiny. Here we have some snakes and bugs, very gross. And a gigantic skull. That is pretty cool. Here we have some more skeletons being these giant green skeletons that are semi-transparent. Pretty cool. Then we have some neon skeletons, which are much smaller. And just your typical run-of-the-mill hanging poseable skeleton. These are fine enough, I guess. And they light up, of course, as always. And we have some more skeleton critters like frogs, unicorns even. We even have some mini tombstones, which look right out of the Nightmare Before Christmas, honestly. And some smaller stuff. And the baby doll heads. Here we have some Halloween bottles with some Halloween character heads on them, which are pretty cool. And a whole bunch of Edgar Allan Poe stuff here. We've made it to the Gothic section with this incredible statue of the Headless Horseman. I love how he raises his head over his headless body. Such a cool little statue there. Big portrait of Edgar Allan Poe. 
A lot of Sleepy Hollow stuff. Here we have Lord Raven in college, I want to say. Ichabod Crane. Again, a lot of Sleepy Hollow and Edgar Allan Poe stuff in this section. All very gothic themed, of course. Welcome, foolish mortals. Some Edgar Allan Poe busts over here. And a little Edgar Allan Poe themed typewriter. Now here we have a funny one of him sitting on a toilet and reading some Shakespeare, I presume, with the way he's looking at the skull. That is a funny little statue right there. This cabinet with the little dead things in it is actually really creepy looking and very cool as well. Here we have another Lord Raven, I like to say, because obviously it is a giant bird skull. The gothic stuff in this section just never stops. Take a look at these eyeballs over here. And finally, you have this little witch statue, which is nice. A cat. Again, more witch themed stuff once again. And a countdown to Halloween. Very cool. All right, everybody, that is it for Michael's Halloween 2023. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know which was your favorite thing in this video, and be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, nobody outpixelates the pumpkin.